This is Darshil. He's a data engineer and making more than 60 lakhs a year and he's just 26. If you average it out per month basis, it is around like 4 to 5 lakhs just from the freelancing. The crazy part is, he does not even have a job. Currently, I'm working as a freelance data engineer. Job chorke went into freelancing and also now do a YouTube channel and content creation on the side. In this video, I got on a call with him to ask him exactly how you can become a data engineer and make thousands of dollars working from home. I did web development in college for like 2 to 3 years and so you know, I want to try something new. I decided to move to data science machine learning domain. He told me the step-by-step -step process by which he would become a data engineer if he could start over. Learn Python, SQL, build some projects online by writing sparse script, Airflow and all of the other things. Build a good project and also told me the secret to making money on different freelancing platforms. Fiverr is more about packaging your services. Upper is more about you have the problems and then you submit the proposal. This interview is a masterclass if you want to know how you can become a data engineer and make lakhs of rupees working from home. I am Sanskar and you are watching The Sanskar Show. So bro, now let's dive straight into the freelancing part of your journey. How much money I'm making right now with your freelancing and what experience do you have? Like, for example, you're making X amount of money. So for that money, what experience do you require? In every field, I feel that if you are on the top 1% or just on the top, you can make good money. Uh, so this experience is not generally the calm wala experience hota hai, job pe ja ke is required, but ability to show that you can do the work and complete the work is more important than to show the actual experience right so uh sell can so in my case i only have like one year of experience working in the actual job environment so uska jo bhi experience tha, there i worked like uh 12 hours a day crazy i uh, built a lot of projects lit lit team and everything even just after graduating the college you know so uh, experience was similar, but you can get the similar experience by building your own portfolio. So this is the initial journey. Like you get the skills and you start working on your skill. Uske baad, you should know how to portray it to the clients or the audience whom you are trying to target, right? So wo cheez bhi mujhe alag se sikhni padi. It's not ki agar data engineering hi aata hai, so I can get the work. It's not that. Uh, okay. You should know how to properly market data engineering uh, to the client so that they can trust you and you know give you the work. So uh, this was how this is how basically I started and you know uh, selling the work. And about the money part, you asked right? Ki how much money I make? Uh, that's again uh, right now I'm not doing freelancing actively. I do consulting on site and everything for the small client. So uh, it's somewhere between three to four lakhs a month from the freelancing only. But on the other hand, I'm also building a business. So this is the general path people take, right? You are doing a job. Then if you go to the freelancing, you'll have to work, but then you want to automate some of the work. So I started selling uh, courses online, started building my brand. So now the major income source is that. So I'm trying to move from, you know, I started with the job. I left job to move to the freelancing. Now I'm moving from the freelancing to building a business site so that I can have like the, you know, better income source, stuff like that. Now let's break it down into steps and go step by step for the audience listening. So firstly, who were your clients when you were freelancing? Whom did you reach out to? Initially, uh, you, I started with the platform. So two good platforms, Upwork and the Fiverr pretty good uh so again i started with the just like watching youtube or uh, randomly how people do freelancing and you know how to sign up on upwork and how to get clients i used to watch random videos in this niche and understand ki, you know kaise game kaise chal rahe. because uh, it's not just ki, again skill hai, but you should know the freelancing game also so usse start kiya. so i signed up on these platforms so right. initially the kuch kaam hi nahi mila mujhe. like i spent around like one to two months applying proposals but i did not get any job response and i was doing job at that time right on the side this is after the job hours i used to work on all of these uh uske baad, i started learning more about it i took some courses online you know, how to up work how to do freelancing how to write good proposals and everything so while upskilling in the freelancing market how to do freelance i found some strategies that worked for me and i started pitching so uh, the types of clients that I got was, let's say, a normal guy who is trying to build his uh, startup. 
but don't want to hire like any employee because it comes with a lot of overhead right so what they want to do is that they have the problem or koi banda chahiye who can solve this problem quickly so they hired me and they used to play pay basically in india in india they pay very less but if you work with the us clients or europe clients they are very free like they'll pay you 100 dollars just like that even if for the like the one hour work okay so initially this this was my like the first kick like i got around 100 dollars for one of the project uh, again startup company chota sa company tha he wanted to process some data uh, and this is how the journey started uske baad i started doing again small work for the like individual people who are, who are trying to build something by themselves like web scraping data processing some of the data uh, helping them to understand the data engineering side of the things like kind of consulting correct correct so what are the prerequisites to get started with this data engineering field and can someone in their college start with it uh, so data engineering requires some amount of experience i'd say uh, because again you're working with the data and working with the data comes with a lot of responsibility right? Uh, right there are chances that you might drop some tables and companies do fear all of these things you know ki naye bande ko agar de diya maine ye sab cheez and what if he you know uh, make some mistakes in this so this is really important so right, i feel you need some experience but you can start as a fresher and get experience by building your own projects along the way and get the experience at the same time so uh, if you just want to get started with the data engineering there are some prerequisite skills you need to work on and uske baad you can develop projects and you'll be good to go so prerequisite skills are basically uh ek programming language aana chahiye uh so in data engineering you have three options python java and scala if you are a beginner start with the python because kafi easy hota hai pick up karna uh it will take you like one to two weeks and you'll be good to go uske baad aata hai sql sql structured query language that is important because again you are you are in the data field right so Uh, SQL is kind of like the way you communicate with the databases, right? You write SQL queries, fetch data, and stuff like that. So, ये काफी important है Python and SQL. थोड़ा बहुत Linux का मार्ग आता हो, you know, क्योंकि remote machines जो भी servers होते हैं, वो Linux based operating system पे काम करते हैं. तो उस पे commands लिखने आना चाहिए. So, these are the foundation skill. उसके बाद आता है big data fundamentals कि ये जो like terabytes, petabytes of data होते हैं, like really large data. you should know how to process them so uske liye bhi ek proper technologies hoti hai back end mein uh, for example data warehouse karke hota hai so you should know data warehousing ki analytics ke liye use hota hai jo bhi uh, company you know answer karti hai ki last year com- customers se kitne product buy kiye kis categories mein buy kiye uh, revenue kitna tha is saal compared to last last year and everything all of this is basically the analytics right. jo final work hota hai so uske liye data warehouse ke bare mein pata hona chahiye फिर प्रोसेसिंग के लिए भी होती है कि अपाचे स्पार करके एक फ्रेमवर्क है सो बिग डेटा प्रोसेसिंग के लिए यूज होती है अपाचे काफ का जो रियल टाइम डेटा प्रोसेसिंग के लिए यूज होती है फिर अपाचे एयर फ्लो है जो डेटा पाइपलाइन को प्रॉपरली स्ट्रक्चर फॉर्मेट में एग्जीक्यूट करना है राइट वर्क फ्लो ऑर्केस्ट्रेशन बोलते हैं उसको हम तो वो होता है फिर थोड़े बहुत मॉडर्न टूल्स भी होते हैं सो लाइक दैट यू अगेन रोड मैप्स अवेलेबल है यू कैन ऑलवेज डीप डाइव इन टू इट बट दिस इज कांड लाइक द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट राइट यू लर्न सम बेसिक फाउंडेशन स्किल यू लर्न द एक्चुअल कोर स्किल रिक्वायर्ड इन डेटा इंजीनियरिंग एंड देन वहाँ से यू स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग योर ओन प्रोजेक्ट एंड डू समथिंग बाई योर ओन एंड देन यू कैन गेट इन टू फील एंसिंग स्लोली बाई शो केसिंग दैट ओके आई हैव डन दिस प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड दिस प्रोजेक्ट्स आर सिमिलर टू वॉट द प्रॉब्लम दैट यू आर फेसिंग सो इफ वी आई कैन हेल्प यू विद दिस एंड यू नो दे तभी ट्रांजैक्शन स्टार्ट होता है कि यू प्रोवाइड द सर्विस एंड यू विल गेट द मनी इन द रिटर्न तो ब्रो एज अ फ्रीलांसर इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू मेक श्योर कि यू हैव अ स्टडी चेन ऑफ क्लाइंट्स राइट यू शुड नॉट हैव वन मंथ अप वन मंथ डाउन तो उसके लिए हाउ डिड यू मेक श्योर कि यू हैव वेरी मच सिमिलर मंथ्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ द मनी यू आर मेकिंग डिड यू हैव कॉन्ट्रैक्चुअल बेस्ड क्लाइंट्स या फिर हाउ डिड यू गो अबाउट इट सो ओके दिस इज द फर्स्ट कंसर्न यू जनरली हैव व्हेन यू थिंक अबाउट फ्रीलांसिंग इज दैट व्हाट इफ यू डोंट गेट एनी वर्क और वट इफ यू डोंट गेट एनी क्लाइंट सो यूल बी जॉब लेस काइंड ऑफ यू नो कुछ काम ही नहीं होगा सो टू फिक्स दैट आई गेस यू शुड हैव द ट्रांजिशन पीरियड फ्रॉम योर जॉब टू फील एंड एंड दिस इज द रीजन आई डेंट क्विट माई जॉब राइट अवे वंस आई स्टार्ट गेटिंग फील एंड वर्क सो इनिशियली आई गॉट की छोटा छोटा क्लाइंट्स लाइक हंड्रेड डॉलर्स जॉब एटी डॉलर्स स्टफ लाइक दैट एंड देन आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू गेट द आर्ली बेस्ड जॉब दीज जॉब्स आर लॉन्ग टर्म सिक्स मंथ्स वन ईयर सो Okay. even if you work for the 6 months you'll 
be in a good shape for next one year depending on the lifestyle you have so it can be more than that uh, if you work a lot so if you get the early base this is when you can quit your job and you know go on to full full on to freelancing if you think that this project is big so this is what i got initially i got one job which was paying me 30 dollars per hour and then on this freelancing platform basically once you close like two to three clients you'll start getting invitations from the people because uh the algorithm will push your profile on the top and people will directly invite you to the work so you will have more work than you ac- you can actually do in the freelancing if you reach at that stage so okay. you will figure it out when once you reach that no it, it will take like two to three months if you work sincerely and when you are on this stage you'll have to make the decision key whether do i want to quit the job or stay you know do the both, both of the things together so if you are willing to take the risk and go into freelancing it's a risk uh, i mean at the end of the day because tomorrow client can fire you but again uh, you have built your profile in a such a way ki you'll keep getting the work so this is how i started so it was pretty chill i got work and i was lucky ki covid ke time pe i started doing all of these things so uh, everyone was going remote so i also got the contractual job at like top companies such as wayfair it's kind of like the furniture company in europe it was very big company like like thousands of people working in that so wahan pe bhi i got the contractual so generally in the freelancing you will get the contract work similar to remote job you can say but some of the benefits okay. are not provided you know healthcare wo sab nahi milta but you will get the money is always good when you are working with when you are earning in the us or europe right so uh, this is the major part uh, that pushed me uske baad uh, in order to you know have this uh, fear of what if i don't get any work that is the reason right. i started content creation on the side ki even if i don't get any work right. this happened right. like few months back ki even if you don't get any work you still have some income coming from let's say youtube brand collaboration i'm selling courses now so I'm, i have a good income source from there also so you should, you ha- you'll have to start building on top of your entire foundation that you have built and even if you do the content creation you'll get the work people will recognize you ki this guy does freelancing and he's pretty good with it because you're right. sharing your knowledge i said bro ek ye baat batao ki as a freelancer how do you stand out because there are lots of freelancers lots of people doing this thing but you said na ki you have to make your profile stand out what are the steps we can take to ensure that uh so in this uh be so i generally give the same example it's like being an expert will pay you more than uh, being a journalist so uh okay like generally the surgical doctor hota hai right they get paid more because they are specialist in one domain than to general physician so the same thing applies to the freelancing let's say you have the wordpress skill or web development so a person who is like looking for just web uh, website development um might not reach out to you because you or only know the wordpress or stuff like that you know ki right, ek right. generalized skill hai tera but uh, if a person who is looking into wordpress development and also they are looking ki this specific plugin i want a person to know a freelancer to know and if you are a person who is who says ki i am the expert in elementor this is like one of the plugin on the wordpress right. if you okay. put that in your profile you are the expert so you basically the client will filter out ki this guy is an expert mm, makes sense. and this is what i want and everyone else is basically the web developer so i can give my work to right. this guy and you know get the work done because automatically trust build ho jata hai so this is what i did initially ki i was not the data engineering expert i was uh, the like there is a etl in data engineering domain so i was etl script writer i was sql expert i was migration expert so jo bhi clients ko they had the problem they'll reach out to me because i'm an expert in that field and then once you have the your client base then you can you know start generalizing ki i have done this 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 work so i can also do this so future may you can always do that but at the initial stage picking the right niche inside the niche is very important so this is how we can start and stand out from the crowd correct finally bro for the audience quickly can you share a short step by step guide man le ki pehle ye karo fir ye karo fir ye karo like if they want to get into data engineering and be a freelancer a short step by step summary so again freelancing is all about selling yourself okay uh, even if you don't have the skills if you know how to sell yourself you can get the work so this is very straight forward 
फ्रॉम द फ्रंट एंड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू कि क्लाइंट को कैसे बेचना है बट अगेन वंस यू गेट द प्रोजेक्ट यू हैव टू डिलीवर इट सो यू हैव टू लर्न बोथ ऑफ दिस स्किल्स वन इज द फ्रीलांसिंग स्किल इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ टू टॉक टू क्लाइंट्स पोट्री योर सेल्फ ऑनलाइन एंड ऑल ऑफ द अदर थिंग्स एंड सेकेंड इज द कोर स्किल सेट देन दिस अप्लाइज टू एवरी नीच इफ यू पिक अप वीडियो एडिटिंग इमेज ग्राफिक डिजाइन एंड एवरी थिंग अप्लाइज टू एवरी वेयर सो स्टार्ट वर्किंग विद द फाउंडेशन स्किल दर आर टॉक्ट अबाउट यू नो लर्न पाइथन सीक्वल build some projects online by writing sparse script airflow and all of the other things build a good project i have a lot of projects on my youtube channel for free so you can always check it out like i have done like so many things in the freelancing that i share online for free and a pe- lot of people have benefited from that also so start by and again i'm saying that key pick up the right skills and be the master of it and you can become the master of it by doing the hands on work and building something online and sharing it with the people sign up on upwork fiverr spend time learning about how these platform works like ki keyword kya hone chahiye profile mein photos kaisa hona chahiye again it's not ki platform mein to sign up kar liya ho gaya you should understand the game of the platform ki yahan pe kya chalta hai client ko kya dekhna pasand hai kyunki once you submit the proposal client only sees one line so you should be really careful ki first line mein kya dalu main kyunki that is a hook point so proposal hai mere samne to mera proposal hi kyun pick hoga so all of these things you have to learn aisa nahi ki you know intuition se aa jayega you have to listen to the people who have already done this youtube pe everything is free okay you can get some courses on udemy that will teach you all of these things also so learn about be open to learning about these platforms also it's not ki important nahi hai and then you can slowly start figuring out by yourself ki kya kya work karta hai so first two months i did not get any work i started figuring out ki kahan ka improvements chahiye and after that i got the first work so uske baad you start getting understanding ki okay all of these things doesn't work for me so i won't do it but this particular thing that worked for me so i'll keep repeating this aise generally search on youtube best resource if you want to learn anything you know just search on youtube ki how to do this you'll get 10 videos watch 10 10 10 of those videos you will learn one new thing from there okay and then actually implement all of these things same thing i did one course on udemy so i'm not i don't remember the exact course name but you can just search about you know upwork domination or how to build your freelancing how to start your freelancing career on upwork or fiverr because har ek platform ka apna apna game hota hai fiverr is more about uh, packaging your services and then selling it upwork is more about you have the problems and then you submit the proposal so understanding right. both of these games is important so up to you you know how you want to start these two platforms are on the top so you can start with that that and see how it goes so keep learning explore online read blogs read books uh, there is a great book on freelancing by varun maya if you know the pajama profit so you can also read that i also right. read that so be open to learning explore all of these things don't be you know don't stay in the comfort zone ki Uh, I'll only do this much, and l- let's see the luck plays out or stuff like that. Just go on, all in and start learning it, and you'll figure it out. Awesome, man! Thank you so much for joining me here today on this podcast and sharing your views with my audience. Loved it, bro. Thank you, bro. Uh, thank you for inviting me.